So we're less than 24 hours away from the next YGB drop. And it looks like the drop list from the Yeezy Gap Balenciaga collection has actually leaked. So for today's video, we're gonna go over what's dropping, prices, plus I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts on the overall collection, as well as what pieces I'm checking for. If you guys would like to support the channel, please do so by dropping a thumbs up here on today's video. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. So to kick off today's video, I wanna give you guys a quick restock alert. It looks like the two most recent Foam Runner colorways are restocking available for UK customers. Now, don't worry if you guys are located outside of the UK, there are worldwide raffles available. So make sure you guys check out the end.com. We have the Stone Sage raffle available as well as the Sulfur raffle available. These are the two most recent Foam Runner releases. Stone Sage is gonna be a MX gray colorway while the Sulfur colorway is gonna be a single tone muted out yellow two great earth tone vibes. If you guys happen to miss out on these for retail, you have one more chance available via the restock. Now, if you've never used the end.com before, they are a certified major retailer chain based out of the UK, I believe. And just a little small warning, if you guys are entering the raffle, just be aware that they do have a slightly inflated retail price point, but don't worry because their retail point is cheaper than resale. So you have one more opportunity to cop some high in demand, easy footwear, if you guys happen to miss out on the original release. Don't forget to enter the raffle, which is currently live via the end.com. These are officially releasing for a delayed UK release coming up this Saturday, May the 28th. Good luck, guys. So the official YGB release will be going down this Friday, May the 27th at 9 a.m. Eastern. So what are your guys' thoughts on the collection so far? It looks like the collection is being described as demonstrating Yeezy Gap and Balenciaga's shared creative vision of utilitarian fashion design in conjunction with Gap's casual silhouette. So I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I was expecting this drop to be just maybe possibly a restock of some of the pieces that we missed out on the first drop. But it turns out it looks like we're getting a complete full collection for this drop. Now, it looks like via myteresa.com, it looks like some people have went into the back end. Images have leaked as well as pricing. So we're gonna go over the drop list, cover pricing, and at the end, I'll kind of give you my overall thoughts and let you know what are some of the pieces that I'm checking for. Now, when it comes to the Yeezy Gap Balenciaga drop, pricing is gonna be a little higher than what we're familiar with with the standard Yeezy Gap drop. Of course, Balenciaga pricing is extremely high due to their designer quality products and their t-shirts usually start in the five to $600 range. So based off those price points, you know, expect this drop to be a little pricier than you would maybe anticipate. So let's look at the collection here. First up, it looks like we have the padded cotton hoodie. Now the retail on this hoodie, $200, it looks like you have a standard, nice little tan wash going on right here. It looks like this hoodie is actually the same dimensions as the original Dove hoodie that dropped. So I would anticipate this joint to fit extremely oversized. We'll have to wait till tomorrow's drop to get all of the full dimensions available via the site. But just based off the previous drop that people got, I would anticipate this hoodie to fit at least a size bigger. You may even want to go actually a full two sizes down on this joint based off previous releases. So once again, retail at 200. Next, you have the Dove Cotton Blended Shrunken Hoodie, which retails at $240. Now it looks like this hoodie, you have your standard cuff as well as standard waistband. So based off the images here, it looks like this joint may run true to size. And then of course you have the Yeezy Gap fleece sweatpants. These are very interesting, retailing at 180. You have a loose fit, kind of wider around the ankle area. Now, based off of these proportions, I feel like this is gonna be an item that a lot of people may pass on, but based off the baggy fit on these, I'm very intrigued by this pair, as well as by the color. I just am in love with the whole color of this collection overall. It has like a vintage age look to it. And then you have the debut of the Dove fleece printed t-shirt, which is coming in at a retail 
of $160 featuring your Gap logo across the front. Now, this image here, it makes it look like this is your standard fit t-shirt, but once again, we gotta wait to see the dimensions. Based off the previous drop, you had the no seam tee, which was extremely cropped, and then you had the three-fourths length, which had super long sleeves. I wasn't a fan of the long sleeve look, but based off of this image, looks like you have a standard fit tee with, a, once again, a beautiful wash. Now, next up, you got the T-cut parka, which features a small little mini Yeezy Gap logo right on the front here. This piece comes in at a whopping $500. Next up, you have the Flame baseball cap retailing at $60, featuring your flames on the front part as well as the cap. And then you have the Gap logo, small right across the front in a nice black color. Now the cap, it seems like this is gonna be the piece that a lot of people are gonna go for. If you're look, not even gonna buy anything from the collection, I think coming into that smaller retail $60 price point, this is kind of your entry level piece that the general consumers are gonna be going for. So next up, you have the classic mock neck padded sweater. These feature the same material that we have with the padded jacket. This is definitely a staple piece for the collection coming in at $360. Um, let me know if you guys are checking for that joint. And then you have some more hoodies. This one is described as the shrunken cotton blend of hoodie so you have it in this nice dull color these look to appear to be the same dimensions as the perfect hoodie but i'm just not so sure if there's an increase in quality due to the 200 dollars price point or if that price increase is just due to the balenciaga name then you have the dove cotton blended shrunken hoodie and of course with the gap logo going across the front you got a nice navy wash to it. I would be very curious to know the difference between the Dove cotton blended shrunken hoodie and then your shrunken cotton blend hoodie that has no logo. So are you just paying the extra 40 bucks for the Gap logo? I don't know. Next up you have the cotton canvas cargo pants coming in at $200. Now this is a pair of pants I am interested in. Um, just the only thing is I gotta see these like on body. I'm not so sure. It's really tough to be able to gauge these products just based off the images. Next up, you have the Snake Technical Crossbody Bag. Now, this was a very interesting piece. I think this was a bag that a lot of people were interested in copping. But what do you guys think now? The retail price is 500. Uh, I would say that this was a piece I was checking for, but now due to the higher price point i'm having second thoughts on it but we'll wait to see official product images um tomorrow for the drop then you got the cotton overalls coming in at 300 dollars. i think this is a, a look that is reserved just for a chosen few and then you have the yeezy gap padded cotton jersey hoodie you know in this nice faded dark wash you got the fleece sweatpants once again in this light gray finish and then you have the t-cut puffer Arca in that nice padded material, something similar to what we had with the uh, original round jacket. And speaking of the round jacket, it looks like you have the V2 version of the round padded jacket. I'm not so sure what the $300 price increase is all about as the original round jacket retailed at 200, but this is an automatic pass for me as I already got my round jacket secured. Don't need the Balenciaga upgrade. And then you got a nice once again, Dove blended shrunken hoodie in a beautiful black wash, uh, as well as the Dove fleece printed t-shirt. T-shirt retails at 160, hoodies coming in once again at $240. And then you have some more pants. I'm not gonna lie, y'all, I'm, I'm really interested in the fleece sweatpants and some new colors. And then you have the Dove or long sleeve with the Gap logo retailing at 120. And then you have the crew neck long sleeve t-shirt retailing at 80. An interesting point is that it seems to have a small little pocket in the center area that you could actually store the stem player in. Um, this piece, not a fan of the neck area, the long stretched out neck area. I'm more a fan of like the mock necks personally. And then you have an array of colors for the new cotton blended shrunken hoodie, which again retails at 200 bucks. Some nice colors, um, colors that differ, you know, from what we got with the original Yeezy Gap drop. So I'm sure people will be checking for those. And then of course you have the denim pieces. So 
for the original YGB release, we have the light blue wash denim, and here you have the faded black denim. The jacket retailing at $440, and you have the jeans, the distressed straight jean retailing at $240. So I'd like to give a special shout out to my man Juju from the Yeezy Reddit Discord for providing all of the leaked images as well as pricing. Huge help for all of us looking to, um, you know, secure some pieces for the collection tomorrow. Now, my thoughts on the overall collection are, I'm a huge fan of the color schemes that they chose. Like, I love the vintage age washes. Great job. Now, in terms of the pieces overall, what I'm most excited for definitely have to be, I would say, the pants actually, believe it or not. I'm very curious to see what the pants are looking like and may even secure a tee for myself. Now, all of the hoodies, like the winter wear and stuff like that, I'm just gonna pass on, you know, due to the fact that I live in a warmer state and I already have an array of colors from the original Easy Gap drop. So I'm satisfied on the hoodies, but I would love to know what your guys' thoughts are on the overall collection. I'm also considering doing a live cop for the event, you know, just to hang out with you guys and help each other out. That way we can get feedback in the chat and all that good stuff. So we're gonna wrap up today's video here. Salute to each and every one of you guys. If you enjoyed, please do me a favor, drop a thumbs up here on today's video. I'm JA, stay safe, stay blessed, and I'm out y'all, salute.